بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میرے نیم از ڈاکٹر محمد مصطفیٰ شہین اینڈ ٹو ڈے ٹاپک آف لیکچر از کلینیکل کنسڈریشن آف ڈینٹل امیلگم ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس کیپٹی ڈیزائن اور پریپریشن آف امیلگم ریسٹوریشن مینیپلیشن آف امیلگم کامن پرابلمس ان امیلگم ریسٹوریشن ریپیئر آف امیلگم ریسٹوریشن سائڈ افیکٹس آف مرکری precautions to avoid mercury hazards oh, 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 cavity design or cavity preparation for amalgam restoration objectives of cavity de- design or preparation are to minimize destruction of sound tooth tissue and to give an appropriate form to the restoration for its retention amalgam has no intris- uh, intrinsic ability to bond to enamel and dentin so it has mechanical retention whereas other restoration like composite or gic have a mechanical uh, micro mechanical or chemical ret- retentions steps in cavity preparation there are two steps Uh, initial cavity preparations and final cavity preparation initial cavity preparation in initial cavity preparation there are outline form and initial depth primary resistance form primary retention form convenience form primary res- resistance form for tooth is maintaining as much unprepared tooth structure as possible pulpal and gingival floor of the cavity should be flat all the internal line angles should be rounded to minimize internal stresses 90 degree cavo surface angle and removing unspotted enamel margin and weakened tooth, tooth structure no for amalgam primary resistance form is at, obtained by adequate thickness of cavity preparation uh, that should be 1.5 to 2 mm in the areas of occlusal contact and 0.75 mm in axial areas marginal amalgam of 90 degree or greater box like preparation and rounded axiopulpal line angles in class 2 preparation primary resistance form is attained by mechanical locking of inserted amalgam into surface irregularities to allow good adaptation and preparation of vertical walls that converge occlusally secondary uh, resistance and r- uh, retention form when insufficient resistance or retention forms are present in tooth additional preparation is indicated such features include placement of grooves locks curves pins slots or amalgam pins larger the tooth preparation greater the need of secondary resistance or re- uh, retention forms F- final cavity preparation removal of any remaining defective enamel or dentin on pulpal floor pulpal pulp rest uh, protection pulp protection finishing external walls final cleaning and inspection of the cavity now role of the matrix in class 2 restoration if an uh, external wall of a tooth is breached by a cavity a steel matrix band needs to be applied to the tooth to provide a surface against which the amalgam can be con- condensed it is important when rebuilding the proximal surface of any tooth to restore its contact re- relationship with adjacent tooth this problem is overcome overcome by two ways one is having adapted the matrix to the tooth it is burnished outward to try to achieve a contact with adjacent tooth second is a wooden or metal wedge 
should be inserted between the teeth as you can see in the picture now manipulation of dental amalgam in many manipulation uh, of dental amalgam we, we will discuss proportioning and dispensing trituration condensation carving and burnishing finishing and polishing of amalgam restoration what is proportioning of alloy to mercury and dispensing correct proportioning of alloy and mercury is uh, e essential for forming a suitable mass of amalgam mercury alloy ratio low copper lath cu cut alloys 1 ratio 1 or 50% mercury spherical alloys 52 uh, 42% mercury which means requires less mercury mercury percentage varies from 43 to 40, 54% excess mercury leads to decreased strength increased flow and creep increase expansion and increase tarnish, tarnish and corrosion less mercury leads to non coherent amalgam restoration weak amalgam restoration less resistance to tarnish, tarnish and corrosion mix will be dry and grainy each increase in mercury by 15% results in 1.5% excess in the final restoration what is ames technique it is also known as minimum mercury technique best way to reduce mercury in the restoration is to reduce the original mercury alloy ratio alloys designed for manipulation with reduced mercury alloy ratio minimal uh, minimal mer mercury uh, mercury technique or ames technique proportioning parts by weight of mercury and alloy for example 1 ratio 1 or percentage by weight of mercury and alloys for example 1 ratio 1 means 50 50% mercury and 50 50% alloys proportioning should be exact as minimum mercury used in ames technique the most obvious met method to reduce mercury content is minimal mercury technique or ames technique which is mercury uh, alloy ratio which is equal to 1 ratio 1 in which sufficient mercury should be present to form coherent and plastic mass after trituration methods of proportioning simple weight balance tablets or pellets where amount of of mercury is measured according to the manuf manufacturer by a mechanical dispenser automatic mechanical dispenser pre uh, pre proportioning capsules the it is the best met method of proportioning self activated capsules automatic mechanical dispenser should be clean and dry vertical to obtain proper measurement half filled disadvantage uh, disadvantage Uh, disadvantages uh, sorry disadvantages of automatic mechanical dispenser some alloys can cling to the wall of the dispenser each dispenser is for one type of alloy that means cannot be used universally for all types of types of alloys pre proportioning capsules proper alloy and mercury ratio is done by manuf uh, manufacturing company and are put in a capsule a disc or membrane separates mercury and alloy to prevent premature amalgamation activation is done before trituration this is done by removal of the membrane and provide contact between alloy and mercury this could be done by pressure or twisting cover of capsule in picture you can see a amalgam pre proportioning capsule 
here you can see two amalgam capsules now advantage uh, advantages of proportioning capsule it is more convenient proper mercury alloy ratio is achieved the variables of dentists are eliminated prevent spill of mercury leads to preventing mercury hazards now what is saturation saturation is a process of mixing the amalgam alloy particle with mercury it can be carried out by hand using a motor and pestle or in a elect electrically powered machine which is called amalgamator which vibrates a capsule containing the mercury and alloy objectives of saturation are to achieve a workable mass of amalgam within a minimum time to remove the oxide layer to pulverize pellets into particles that can be easily attacked by mercury to reduce particle size to keep the amount of gamma 1 or gamma 2 matrix crystal by as minimal as possible yet evenly distributed now hand mixing of amalgam a glass motor and pestle is used for hand mixing the motor has its inner surface rough to increase the friction between amalgam and glass surface usually a period of 25 to 45 seconds is sufficient for hand mixing following saturation by hand it is necessary to reduce the mercury content of the mix before condensing into the tooth cavity it is it is normally done by placing the amalgam into a gauze and squeezing to express excess mercury mechanical saturation the disposable capsule serves as a motor and the cylindrical metal placed in the capsule serves as a pestle the alloy and mercury are dispensed into the capsule it is secured in the machine and the machine is turned on there is an automatic timer for controlling the mixing time modern amalgamator has two or more operating speeds low which can be low medium and high the milling process gen generally caused the mix to cohere so it so that it can be readily removed from the capsule spherical alloy requires less amalgamation time than lath cut alloys amalgamation time also depends on the quantity for a given alloy or mercury ratio increased saturation time and speed shorten the working and setting time in picture you can see amal amalgamator no mechanical amalgamator are available in the following speeds as i told previously low speed medium speed and high speed spherical or irregular low copper alloys are saturated at low speed whereas high copper alloys are saturated at high speed time of uh, saturation time of saturation on amalgamation ra ranges fr uh, from 3 to 30 seconds variations in 2 to 3 seconds can also produce a uh, under or over mixed mass this is the picture of uh, amalgamator advantage uh, advantages of mechanical saturation a uniform and reproducible mix is produced mixing time is saved a greater alloy or mercury ratio can be used under saturation alloy will, will be dry dull and crumbly alloy will crumble if dropped from approximately 30 cm it is uh, alloy will be rough 
reduces strength and susceptible to tarnish, tarnish and rough surface after carving normal mix, uh, mix it will be shiny appearance sorry it will have a shiny appearance and separates in a single mass from the capsule it has high strength it has high dimensional stability and smooth carved surface over trituration mass will be hot it is hard to remove from the capsule it will be shiny wet and soft appears soupy tends to stick to the inside of capsule it has low strength in pictures you can see this is the under trituration uh, amalgam alloy this is a properly trituration amalgam alloy and this is the over trituration amalgam alloy now what is mulling mulling is actually a continuation of trituration it increases the homogeneity of the mass and get a single consistent mix the mix is enveloped in dry piece of rubber dam and rubber rubbed between the first finger and the thumb or the thumb of one hand and the palm for 2 to 5 seconds mixing a variables working time and dimensional uh, dimension, uh, dimensional change all types of amalgam spherical or irregular decreases with over trituration over trituration slightly higher contraction for all types of alloys compressive and tensile strength irregular shaped alloys increase by over trituration spherical alloys greatest at normal trituration time creep over trituration increases creep under trituration loads it no armamentarium required for amalgam restorations are amalgam condensers anatomic burnishers carver carvers and cleoid or discoloid condensation condensation refers to the incremental placement of the amalgam into the prepared cavity with the help of amalgam gun which is also called amalgam ca carrier and compression of each increment into, uh, into the other amalgam should be condensed into the cavity within 3 minute after trituration in picture you can see amalgam condenser of different sizes and in another picture you can see amalgam gun now objectives or aims of condensation adaptation of amalgam to the margins walls and line angles of the cavity minimize voids and layering between increments within the amalgam develops maximum physical properties remove excess mercury to leave an optimal alloy mercury ratio Abs acceptable mercury content in final restoration is 44 to 48% hand condenser should allows a operator to readily grabs it and exert a force of condensation size of condense, uh, condenser tip and direction uh, and ma uh, magnitude of the force uh, placed depends on the type of type of amalgam alloy selected irregular shaped alloys for ir irregular shaped alloys condenser with relatively small tip 1 to 2 mm is used high condensation forces in vertical uh, direction are required as much mercury rich mass as possible should be removed in case of irregular shaped alloys now in case of spherical amalgam alloys condensers with large tips are used condensed 
in lateral direction high copper spherical amalgams vertical and lateral direction condensation with vibration condensation pressure which is required is a load of 15 ib which is equal to 66.7 newton is recommended to be applied to each increment which is condensed by condenser mechanical condensers useful for condensing irregular shaped alloys when high uh, condensation forces are required need was eliminated with the ad advent of the spherical alloys tend to lead to unreliable condensation as well as generation of heat and mercury vapor both of which are undesirable undesirable Ar ultrasonic condensers ultrasonic condensers are not recommended anymore because it causes the release of uh, considerable quantities of mercury vapor in the dental office speed of placement of increments of amalgam once amalgam is saturated phase formation commences and the setting reaction is underway amalgam must be placed in a plastic state no amalgam should be placed more than 3 minutes after the start of mixing attempting to condense a partially set amalgam into a cavity will result in poor adaptation reduced marginal seal and a weak restoration no after condensation of the amalgam in increments next step is burnishing first burn, uh, burn, uh, bur burnishing is pre carving burnish it is carried out carried out using a large burnisher for 15 seconds use light force and remove from the center of the restoration outwards to the margins objectives of pre carve pre carve burnishing are continuation of condensing condensation further reduce the size and number of voids in the critical surface and marginal areas of the amalgam brings any excess mercury to the surface to be discarded tuning carving adapt the amalgam further to cave surface anatomy no next step is carving using remaining enamel as a guide carve gently uh, gently from enamel towards the center and recreate the lost anatomy of the tooth by using a carver in picture you can see different types of carver amalgam should be hard enough to offer resistance to carving instrument a scraping or ringing should be heard if carving is started too soon amalgam will pull away from margins in picture you can see amalgam carving from the surface of the tooth what are the objectives of carving carving is done to produce a restoration with with no underhangs a restoration with the proper physiological contours a restoration with mi minimal flush to remove the mercury ri uh, rich layer on amalgam surface a restoration with adequate compatible marginal ridge uh, ridge a restoration with proper size location extent and inter uh, re relationship of contact contact areas no after carving there is the final burnishing which is also called post carving burnishing following uh, following carving check the occlusal and carry uh, uh, occlusion and carry out a brief final burn, uh, burnishing 
यूज़ आ लार्ज बर्निशर एट आ लो लोड एंड बर्निश आउटवर्ड्स टू टूवर्ड्स द मार्जिनस इम्प्रूव स्मूथनेस स्मूथनेस हीट जनरेशन शुड बी अवॉडिड इफ टेम्परेचर राइजिज अब सिक्सटी डिग्री काजिज रिलीज ऑफ मरकरी एक्सलरेट्स क्रोजन एंड फ्रैक्चर एट मार्जिन नो आफ्टर पोस्ट कार्विंग बर्निशिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज फिनिशिंग एंड पॉलिशिंग फिनिशिंग फिनिशिंग कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द प्रोसेस विच कंटिन्यूज द कारविंग ऑब्जेक्टिव रिमूव फ्लश एंड ओवर हैंग्स एंड करेक्ट मिनिमल एनेबल अंडर हैंग्स पॉलिश पॉलिशिंग इज द प्रोसेस which which creates a corrosion res- resistant layer by removing uh, scratches and irregularities from the surface objective of finishing and poli- polishing are to removal of su- superficial scratches and irregularities advantage uh, advantages of the finishing and polishing are minimizes फटीक फेलियर ऑफ द अमेलगम अंडर द साइकलिक लोडिंग ऑफ द मेस्टिकेशन मिनिमाइजिंग क्रोजन विच कुड बिगन इन द सर्फिस इरोगुलर टीज प्रिवेंट्स द अडहेरेंस ऑफ द प्लाक यूजली ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स शुड पास आफ्टर अमेलगम अमेलगम रेस्टोरेशन इन इंसर्शन before any finishing and polishing commences however some new alloys can be polished after 8 to 12 hours still others require only a 30 minutes wait after insertion for low copper and high copper admixed amalgam performed after 24 hours during second appointment due to low early strength patient is cautioned not to bite on restoration single composition high copper have about twice as high strength as that of low copper and high copper admixed F- uh, finishing may be done at the first appointment in case of single composition high copper amalgam finishing is basically gross uh, irregularities in the structure are reduced using multi bladed steel bars in a slow hand piece in picture you can see multi bladed steel bars football shape steel fisher and other types of bars polishing fine polishing can be done using descending grade abrasives for example rubber mounted stone or rubber cups a metallic r- luster is always done with a polishing agent pre uh, precipitated chalk tin or zinc oxide the final polishing should be se- uh, seen like this these are the different types of bars which are used in finishing and polishing they are carbide bars and rubber cups and stones the final amalgam restor- restor- uh, restoration after polishing and fin- finishing and polishing should be look like this no they are some common problems which we can face in amalgam restoration number 1 is post operative sensitivity it can be due to deep cavity lack of adequate condensation improper uh, dentinal sealing with bonding agent in improper lining before placing amalgam restoration into the cavity marginal voids it can be due to lack of adequate condensation material breaking from marginal area during carving next uh, problem which we can face is marginal ditch it is d- uh, due to creep corrosion improper 
कैविटी प्रिपरेशन फॉर कार्विंग अदर प्रॉब्लम्स विच कैन बी फेस आर मार्जिनल रिज फ्रैक्चर प्रोक्सीमल ओवर हैंग्स स्पेशली इन क्लास टू रेस्टोरेशन मार्जिनल गैप हाई स्पोर्ट्स पोअर एनाटोमिक कंटोर्स इम प्रॉपर प्रोक्सीमल कंटेक्ट्स कंटेक्ट्स एंड फ्रैक्चर लाइन्स repaired amalgam restoration how can we repair amalgam restoration the important factor related to the quality of the amalgam repair is the interfacial bond between the new and the existing amalgam the surface of an old amalgam to be bonded should be rough and to remove corrosion and saliva contaminants and freed of loose debris when a freshly triturated amalgam is condensed directly onto the rough end surface of an existing amalgam the flexural strength of the repaired structure can reach 50% of that of unrepaired amalgam making a slot on the existing amalgam to establish mechanical interlocking between the two materials also improve the quality of the repair joint another repair option for areas that exhibit minor marginal breakdown are gaps that are to, uh, 250 uh, micrometer or less in width is to etch the enamel adjacent to the restoration and after rinsing the rinsing and drawing the marginal gap area sealing the gap with a dentine bonding adhesive which is a composite when secondary caries is diagnosed it in inevitably require requires the replacement of the restoration but an alternative treatment is to remove part of the restoration to the full depth or at the site of the defect the repair should be attempted only if the area involved is one that will not be subjected to high stresses or one in which the two restoration parts are adequately supported and retained indications of uh, indications of amalgam Re restorations are restoration of posterior teeth class 1 and 2 cavity moderate to large preparations class 5 preparations when aesthetics is not the prime concern core build up build up for badly broken down teeth in the posterior teeth sometimes in distal surface of canine for moderate caries control Con control indications of amalgam restorations are aesthetics extensive loss of tooth structure small class 1 and class 2 cavities in this ca in this uh, these uh, cases we should prefer composite res restoration what are the advantages of the amalgam restoration ease of use high compressive strength excellent wear resistance long term clinical result econo uh, economic can be bonded to to tooth structure me mechanically self sealing ability the disadvantages of amalgam restorations are lack of aesthetics less conservative non insulating corrosion and galvanism lack of reinforcement uh, re of weakened tooth structure no what are the side effects of mercury 
it could be allergy or and toxicity if mercury level is up to 100 pronounced symptoms are kidney inflammation swallow gums pronounced uh, tremor and nervous system disturbance if mercury level uh, level is 500 up to 500 mild to moderate symptoms can become which are ir uh, ir uh, ability depression memory loss minor tremors and other nervous system disturbances early signs of disturb uh, disturbed kidney function if mercury level is up to 25 Sweatal so, so, so changes on some test but not overt symptoms. Decreased response on test for nerve con uh, uh, conduction, brain wa uh, wave activity, and verbal skills. If mercury level is uh, less than 25, uh, no known health effects. Precautions to avoid mercury hazards. The cleaning should be should be well ventilated. Uh, ven uh, ventilated. Excess mercury waste disposable capsules and amalgam removed during condensation should be collected and stored in well sealed containers. Proper disposal to prevent en environmental pollution. No carpeting in dental office. Difficult to remove mercury from the carpets precautions to avoid mercury hazards are amalgam scrap and materials contaminated with mercury should not be incinerated or sub subject to heat sterilization if mercury spilled should be cleaned as soon as possible using a vacuum cleaner mercury suppre uh, suppressant powders are also helpful as temporary measures reusable capsule should have tightly fitting ca uh, fitting cap to avoid mercury leakage if mercury comes in contact with skin wash with soap and water wire grinding amalgam water spray and suction should be used eye protection disposable marks and gloves should be used this is all from today's lecture thank you so much